Imagine craving a Rolex watch, but every path seems to lead to a waiting list. We're diving deep into the world of Rolex waiting lists. We'll uncover the secrets behind the scarcity of these luxury timepieces and explore whether the tides are finally turning. Stay tuned until the end to discover if Rolex waiting lists are indeed getting shorter and what this could mean for watch enthusiasts like you. Getting your hands on a brand new Rolex watch through their official channels can be incredibly challenging, almost like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Even pre-owned Rolex models like the Daytona Cosmograph have become quite expensive lately. The good news is that Rolex is taking steps to address this issue. They're setting up temporary facilities in Switzerland, specifically in Villas de Saint-Pierre, Boulet and Romont. These locations will serve to meet the growing demand for Rolex watches, and they plan to hire up to 300 new employees to help with watch production. Rolex SA, the world's largest producer of high-end luxury watches, is taking significant steps to address the soaring demand for its timepieces. By 2025, Rolex will create three temporary production facilities in the Swiss canton of Fribourg. Construction is set to begin later this year, and this move follows Rolex's plan to invest 1 billion Swiss francs, approximately $1.1 billion, in a major new production site in Bulli, also within the canton of Freiburg, which is expected to commence operations in 2029. Currently purchasing a new Rolex watch through the company's authorized network can be a daunting task, often requiring customers to join waiting lists. This scarcity has led to a surge in secondary market prices where popular models like the Daytona Cosmograph are trading well above their retail values. Rolex's strategy includes the development of a 96,900 square foot facility in Romont, with construction slated to begin in the second half of 2023 and production anticipated to start in 2025. In addition to this, there will be a temporary facility at the Vivier S.A. Industrial Park in Via Saint-Pierre, Switzerland, set to begin operations in 2024 Alongside a recruitment center in Bulle, the production expansion plan involves a gradual installation of production lines and a staggered recruitment process. Rolex aims to bring in 250 to 300 workers, most of whom will be new employees. These individuals will receive training in Romont before transitioning to the Bull site once it's ready. The overall goal is to enhance production capacity, accommodate the company's growth, and meet the ever-increasing demand for Rolex timepieces. Rolex, which is controlled by a foundation named after its founder, Hans Wilsdorf, currently manufactures around 1 million watches each year, generating sales estimated at approximately $8.7 billion, according to Morgan Stanley. Rolex is making strategic moves to increase its production capacity in response to the strong demand for its watches, although Rolex doesn't publicly reveal its production numbers. It's widely estimated that the brand currently produces approximately 1 million units annually at its primary facilities in Geneva, Switzerland. These facilities include administrative headquarters and assembly operations in Geneva, a factory in Plan Les Watts for watchmaking, watch cases and bracelets, the chainboard facility responsible for dials and bezel inserts, and Bien, where movements are manufactured. To meet the growing demand, Rolex is taking a multi-pronged approach. They are establishing three temporary production facilities in the Swiss canton of Fribourg, namely in Villazy saint pierre Boulay, and Romont. These temporary facilities will begin producing luxury watches in the near future. Simultaneously, Rolex is embarking on a long-term investment in Boulay, Switzerland, where they plan to build a sprawling facility covering approximately 1 million square feet. This major project is expected to create about 2,000 new jobs, but it won't be operational until 2029. Rolex is executing this expansion strategy gradually, with a focus on careful planning and training for new employees. The ultimate aim is to meet the surging demand for Rolex watches and make them more readily available to customers worldwide. While the billion dollar bully facility represents a substantial commitment, Rolex is addressing immediate needs by establishing temporary production centers, showcasing their dedication to maintaining their renowned precision and craftsmanship while adapting to market dynamics. Until the new production site in Buller becomes operational in 2029, Rolex is facing the challenge of meeting the high demand for its watches. Currently, the display cases in Rolex boutiques often remain awkwardly empty, leaving Aguirre customers on long waiting lists. Frustrated, while Rolex's recent statement emphasizes 
the expansion of production capacity to support growth and meet the ever-increasing demand, the immediate availability of steel Rolex sport watches may not improve right away. The process of increasing production isn't instantaneous, and it will take some time for watches to become available in boutiques, even once the temporary factories are up and running. This situation is particularly pertinent when it comes to the most sought-after Rolex models, which are the steel sport watches. These watches have been in short supply for several years, with the scarcity worsened by production interruptions in 2020, though the issue began before that. In essence, Rolex's goal is to eventually make steel Rolex sport watches more accessible to customers. However, this will be a gradual process, and in the meantime, customers may still face waiting periods or elevated prices in the secondary market if they want to acquire these coveted timepieces. The impact of increased production is likely to be felt gradually in the market, potentially beginning around 2025, when the first temporary factories are set to become operational. Encouragingly, there are signs that the peak of Rolex scarcity may have already passed. The highest second-hand prices have started to decrease, and there are anecdotes of new watches becoming slightly more available. However, it's important to note that Rolex continues to benefit from strong demand and Rolex watches will undoubtedly remain highly sought after. This means that Rolex retail prices will likely continue to increase annually. Nonetheless, the current market trajectory, combined with the planned production increase, should help alleviate the current extreme supply demand imbalance. This development is welcome news for many enthusiastic watch collectors and fans who have been eagerly awaiting the opportunity to own their desired Rolex timepieces without facing exceptionally long wait times or exorbitant prices in the secondary market. Rolex leaves it to their authorized dealers to decide whether and how they want to maintain waiting lists. The process of getting on one of these lists isn't particularly difficult, but it's important to understand that there are no guarantees regarding when, or even if, your desired watch will become available. Authorized Rolex dealers are typically jewelry chains that, like any other business, value repeat customers. They have the discretion to decide how they a la carte watches when demand from willing customers exceeds their supply. While some customers do get lucky and receive their desired watches relatively quickly, others may face longer waiting periods. It's worth noting that Rolex dealers generally prefer in-person interactions rather than phone inquiries, especially if you're not an established customer. Therefore, the process often begins with a visit to the store and a request for the specific Rolex model you're interested in. Rolex encourages its dealers to prioritize local customers, so starting with the authorized dealer closest to your home is a good approach. In the end, thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts regarding this new surrounding Rolex. And for more videos from this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to Luxury Focus. See you at the next one.